If you're new to selling print-on-demand products using Printify, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna walk through the important store settings that you need to be aware of for your print-on-demand business. All right, so you've got your Printify account created and your Etsy store opened, and you just need to know how to set up your store settings on Printify. By the way, if you have not connected your Printify account to your Etsy shop account yet, check out the video that's linked in the corner and in the description on how to get your accounts connected. So definitely make sure that you do that step first if you haven't. But let's take a look at the settings you have available now for your store. So once you are in your Printify account, whatever page you're on in your Printify account, you have this little green circular account profile indicator and this has links to several pages and sections with additional settings however you also have to the left of that you should see the name of your store and a little drop down link and that will include a little gear icon there which says manage my store so let's go ahead and click on that you can get to this page from either place but I like to just go up here to the name of my store and then go to manage my stores all right, once we're on that page, you will see all of your stores listed if you have more than one store account connected to your Printify account, but you should only see one if you've only connected your Etsy shop. So what you wanna do now is select the gear icon again for the store settings. So go to the store that you're looking for the settings on and go to the right side of the screen where you have that little gear icon and click on that. All right, so we have three major sections here to our store settings. We have the store name, which is just one setting. Then we have the ship from address, and then we have preferences. Preferences is where we will spend most of our time, but let's just hit these first two quickly. The store name here should match your Etsy shop account exactly because it will show in the ship from field on shipping labels. So just make sure that it matches your account. Now on the ship from address, this is where you can choose to either use the Printify default ship from address for each print provider or enter your own custom ship from address. The reason it matters to be aware of this setting is because of your return policy. Now, with print on demand, generally speaking, we don't wanna be taking returns or doing exchanges because there is no inventory of finished products. But if you do want to accept returns and you want to actually receive them because you have a business location where you want to do that, then what you can do is come to your ship from address setting here and then go to custom address and this is where you can actually enter a specific custom address that you have for your business. So if you don't have a specific address for your business set up to handle returns, or if you're just not accepting returns, which is what I recommend for print on demand, then I would just go ahead and use the Printify default. This little link in the top right corner allows you to see an example of how it will go out. Basically what will happen is the name of your business will still be there at the top of the return address section. So for this example, we've got POD insights there, but the return address itself will be filled in by the default address of the print on demand print provider that you actually use. And you can control this separately for the US, the UK and Germany. All right, now our third option on the left side is the preferences section. And this is where we have some additional options to consider and we have more than one setting to change here. The main two settings that you control on this page have to do with automation in your Printify account. So we've got order routing and then in a second you'll see order fulfillment. The order routing setting has to do with whether your orders will be automatically routed to a different print provider based on two different scenarios. So the first scenario that will generally occur more frequently is if an item is out of stock. So let's say you're selling t-shirts and you get an order for a size extra large in a black color and with the primary print provider that you've created the listing with, they are out of stock of black extra large. If you enable automatic order routing, Printify will automatically look for another print provider that has that same product and size in stock. And they can automatically submit the order to that new print provider to get that order fulfilled for you. The second scenario is if you get an order from a customer located in another country, and Printify also has a print provider located in that customer's country. So for example, if you primarily sell in the US and you get an order for a t-shirt from a customer in Germany, if Printify has a print provider in Germany that also makes that same product, they will actually route that order to the print provider in Germany so that the order can be fulfilled domestically and arrive to the customer faster. Now those both sound like good things you would want to take advantage of, but there are a couple of considerations here. So let's look at the settings. You have one main checkbox here to enable order routing. If you do that, you also have a section here for setup that you're going to want to expand to take a look at. You have two settings here that I highly encourage you to take a look at if you're going to be using order routing. So the first one is the maximum additional cost per item. So here you can set a minimum. The lowest you can set this is $2 US. That means you're willing to pay up to $2 more to get an 
an order fulfilled by a different print provider in either of those two scenarios. So you only want the order routed if you can get it fulfilled for a maximum of $2 more than what your normal cost would be. You can set the threshold higher, but personally, I don't recommend setting it very high because it could potentially end up in you losing money if it is significantly more expensive for that individual order. And if it's a very popular product and your normal print provider is out of stock for an extended period, it could end up being multiple orders. So personally, I like to keep this set at the minimum of $2. The second one is another option that I personally like to use. So if you check this additional box here, you're telling Printify that you only want orders to be routed if there is an exact product match available, meaning the exact product. So if you are selling Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirts, they will only route an order to another print provider if they can get the exact same Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirt. If there is not another print provider available with that exact same product, then your order will just stay in on hold status until you take a look at it and decide what to do with it. If you don't check this box, it means Printify can route your orders to a print provider that has a similar or equivalent product. Now, the reason why I don't like to leave this unchecked is because with apparel especially, there are differences between manufacturers, even sizing differences between different manufacturers of what would seem to be a similar product, and I want the customer's product to match what my listing description is. In my listing on Etsy, I've got a size chart and a description, so I don't want the customer picking a certain size and then getting something that might be a little bit different because of this scenario where it ends up not being the exact same product that I am advertising in my listing. So personally, I would prefer to check off the box for only using exact product matches, but again, this is up to you. So that's the automatic order routing option. If you don't use automatic order routing, then what will happen if you get an order for a product that is out of stock, it will just go into an on hold status in your orders page of your Printify account and you will have to manually decide what to do with it. For products like t-shirts, there are lots of other print providers on Printify and all you will need to do is create a draft product listing with another print provider and then manually edit the order to swap out that product with a different print provider. It's not a super involved process and that is personally what I do. So if you're interested in seeing what that process looks like, I have a link in the description and in the corner to a video about how to handle out of stock orders when you're not using automatic order routing. All right, the next significant option here on this settings page under preferences is order approval. The default setting is manual order approval. So that means no order will be submitted to production automatically. It means anytime you get an order, you have to go to your orders page on Printify and manually click the submit button to submit those orders to production. Your other options here are automatically in one hour, 24 hours, or at a certain time each day. If you select one of these options, then at the given time, Printify will automatically submit your orders to production. Now, if you run a print-on-demand shop where you don't offer any personalized products or really any situations where you would need to catch an order before it goes to production, then you can absolutely use one of these automatic options and save yourself that time of having to submit orders. However, if you do sell any personalized products that are going to require you to manually edit the order before it goes to production, then you want to give yourself that time to do it. So I would personally recommend either using manual for all orders or using the automatically in 24 hours option. That will give you 24 hours from the time that each individual order comes in before it will get submitted to production. So that gives you that 24 hour period to go and make any changes you need to make if you get an order for a personalized design. I would not recommend using automatic in one hour and I would also not recommend using automatic at a certain time each day if you sell personalized designs. But if you don't sell anything like that where you're going to need to catch an order before it goes to production, then go ahead and use whatever option you would like. All right, the next option you have on the preferences page is your tracking notification settings. This is where you can tell Printify how often you would like to receive tracking updates for manual or sample orders. So this has nothing to do with tracking on your automatically synced orders from your Etsy shop. This is only for tracking updates from orders you submit manually and for sample orders. So I like to receive tracking updates on these because I don't place a whole lot of manual orders or sample orders on Printify, but when I do, I want to be notified that they've been shipped because if it was a manual order that I placed for my Etsy account, I need to go complete the order manually and add the tracking information myself. So I just use the option for as soon as it is available. If you do that a lot, if you submit a lot of manual orders and you don't just want to get a million emails all the time, you can select to get them all at a certain time each day instead. All right, the next option under preferences is about sending delayed orders to production. Delayed orders are based on Printify's automatic scanning of their system and delivery time. So sometimes there is an extended shipping delay that is 
known about already. For example, if you're located in the U.S. and your print provider's in the U.S., you get an order, let's say, from a customer in Ireland. And if right now, at this moment, Printify is aware that there are extended shipping delays for U.S. to Ireland, their system will automatically identify that known issue and it will classify this order as a delayed order. They just are trying to give you a chance to identify something that is likely to be an issue and decide whether you still want that to go to production knowing it's going to be delayed or whether you maybe want to reach back out to the customer and ask them if they still want to keep the order. So here you can choose to send those orders to production manually or automatically. So if Printify identifies one of your orders as delayed, you can either say, hold on to that and I will look at it, or they can still submit that order to production automatically for you. Now, if you choose manually, you do get an email. If you get an order that goes into delayed status, you will get an email notifying you, hey, you've got an order that you need to go look at. So that's what I choose, but you can do whatever you would like to do there. And the very last option on the preferences page here is the email preferences. And the very last option on the preferences page is for a daily order status email. So this is just a daily summary that you can choose to receive from Printify. It tells you how many were fulfilled and how many are currently in production. So it's just a little daily summary of the order activity for your shop. Totally optional though, you don't need to receive them if you don't want to. All right, so that's all of your Printify store settings for your print on demand business. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was, or if you have any questions about store settings, do me a favor and hit that like button if you did find it helpful and subscribe to the POD Insights channel if you haven't already. Thanks everybody. See you next time.